Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over the modular engines and how to use them. This is a uh, basic guide to them. I'm not an expert at them, but I can teach you a few things with them, like how to start them and how to get them set up and all that. So, if you haven't already, you have to turn on experimental mode to get the module engines on um, Stormworks. And yeah, anyways, so uh, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so we're in the workbench now. What we're going to want to do is we're going to get the engine cylinder. We'll just place it down right here. Now below that, you're going to want to place the crankshaft. And on this side right here, the bottom side, you're going to want to make sure that the two circles are straight or not facing up into it. And now you're going to want to get a belt drive. This one right here will do. And then a modular engine starter. So we'll just place it right here. So this way, this will start the engine. And this this thing right here, the uh, belt drive, has to be on one of the circle sides in order for it to work. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a coolant manifold. Uh, well, modular engine coolant manifold. And we'll just place it right here. And this you'll connect to your... Uh, coolant system for the purpose of this tutorial. We'll just use a radiator. Just place it down right here There we go, and now we'll just pipe it up really quick. I mean connect it up All right, there we go now what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to get the modular engine intake manifold and we'll just place this parallel or sideways like this on one of the sides with the four holes and for this, we can grab a port, and we're going to want a fluid port, and we'll, we're going to want to put this to the air intake. That'll bring air to the engine. And then this, we're going to get a small tank for the purpose of this tutorial, and we'll just place it right here to, con to connect it to this. That way, this will have uh, fuel. Now all you have to do is get a clutch. This one, of course, the modular engine clutch and just place it down as well as you're gonna have to hook up your exhaust so this will work you can c connect this directly to the exhaust whereas if it was uh, this this is basically extending the pipe so from here you have to connect it to this to connect this to a regular pipe or you can connect it to this one right here and this will also work and if you have a bunch in a row what you can do a bunch of um, cylinders in, in a row like this is you can get this pipe right here and place it along the line like this and connect it up like this that way you can have a output of exhaust and yeah that'll work from there so for this we're just going to grab this and a simple exhaust this one right here we'll just place it down right here and now we'll just make a simple platform so it will work Now, for the purpose of this tutorial to uh, test the engine, we're just going to get a prop, a um, small propeller, and we'll just get two throttle levers. We'll place them down right here and here, and a push button to start the engine. And then just a simple battery to power it, so it has electricity. Now we'll quickly name this throttle, and this one clutch, and this one right here, starter. Then we'll connect it up really quick. So this will go to the modular engine starter, this will go to the clutch, my clutch pressure, and then this one will go to the throttle. Now all we have to do is connect all the electricity. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test it really quick. So we're going to turn the throttle up and start it. Yes, it does work. All right, cool. So it is like a jet engine where you have to control the RPS with the throttle. There is no limiter, so you have to be careful on that. So your engine will explode if you're not careful. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to set it up high and engage the, the clutch. So one cylinder engine is a very small engine is very weak does not have a lot of power so you could probably get away with a um, boat with 
three cylinders, maybe. Yeah, see? There we go. Now it works. Alright guys, this is going to be the end of the video, so thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord, it'll be linked down below. And while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Anyways guys, bye for now.